Okay, Batman Ninja. What? This is incredibly stylized. I hope that you like a tremendous amount of very cutting edge Japanese anime style, like a like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure that draws heavily from the way this is done. So let's try to unpack this. Um, Gorilla Grodd builds an item called the Quake Engine in our timeline. He activates it, which then sends. Batman, Red Hood, Red Robin, Robin, Nightwing, a whole host of villains, and the Joker back to feudal Japan. Now when Batman shows up, Joker's already taken over an area where he's, he's at. So you get to see a lot of armies dressed in armor similar to that of their primary villain. So it, it's Batman and his small army of friends who have, some of them have desperately transformed to match their era, taking on a host of his villains who've also transformed to fit the era. I'm not going to spoil like, the end battle. This has got three very differently designed battles that take it to a whole another level. Stylistically, this is beautiful. Trying to follow the story, multiple characters shifted through time and all of them with a different sort of bend to them. Everyone gets enough time to kind of like develop how they've adjusted to their, their new environment. But this is wacky. This is crazy. This is out there. If you thought 60s Batman was weird, no. This is... Wow. Now I remember, like, I got, like, 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 Gotham by Gaslight, and I was like, oh, you know, it's cool taking the character and put him in a different era. This is, it's the same character, just throw into a different era with everybody else. It's... I mean, they get through so much in this hour and a half that it's, it's, it's unreal. I'd say watch the trailer for it, watch bits and pieces of like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and, and if you're cool with that, watch this. If you watch and you go, yeah, that looks really dumb, don't back out, this is not for you in the absolute slightest.